Well, Johnny Forehead here. Today we'll talk about intergas, how to fault find on their boilers. So let's go through this. So here is your hot water heat exchanger. So they've got a two-in-one biothermal heat exchanger. So there's no plate to plate, no diverter valve. Should you get fluctuating hot water, maybe this might need descaling. There should be a descaler fit. If not, you might have to put a compression elbow at the bottom and one on the hot water, put your power flush on it, put the scaler in it, and as it pumps around, it'll clean the heat exchanger. Here's the HT lead. Look for a spark that you should get an F4, sequence four. Um, you, really, you're looking at about a thousand ohms resistance through it. You got a fan, which will be F4, which will be um, uh, fault code eight, 240 volt. Here you got a pressure sensor. So like all pressure sensors, they've got a five volt supply, 1.7 volts return back. Um, DC. Here you got your heat, your heat exchanger, here you got your burner. So when you go to service the burners, always make sure you change the seal every three years unless it's a 40 kilowatt. Look look at the burner, it's Kevlar burner. Make sure it's not gone too baggy. If it's gone too baggy, it really needs changing. Again, the fault will be F4. Here is your manual air vent. They don't have automatic air vents on because they're plastic. Intergas didn't like plastic in their components. Aqua sensor. So again, if that's working, you'll see um, the sequence of operation. We come to sequence number six. If you don't see number six, obviously it's not working. Five volt supply, 2.3, return back to the PCB when it's activated. If that's not working, simple, put it in preheat. Here you've got your hot water NTC. If you think it's faulty, move it a centimetre. Get it working again. 12,000 ohms at 25 degrees. Here you've got another one. Whenever you check uh, NTCs, always remember to Disconnect them. So you're doing a resistance reading on the actual component, not the whole PCB in the wiring harness. 12,000 ohms, 25 degrees. Here you've got your gas valve. The gas valve is faulty. You check it's, it's clear, check there's no blockage in the filter. And if you must, try putting a hairdryer on the base of it, because if it's jammed or seized, a bit of warmth can let go of that glycol. Whenever you're doing a resistance reading, always remove the wire harnesses, so you're doing a resistance directly on the component. Select homes, which is the horseshoe. For resistance readings, you're always looking at 10% plus or minus. These Siemens gas valves always adjust them in low or minimum flame. <laughs> so when you use a multimeter to find resistance, remove the harness the wiring so you do a resistance reading directly in the component select resistance the ohms which is the horseshoe you're looking at 10% plus or minus of what the technical data says always adjust the Siemens gas valves in low or minimum um, when doing your CO2 always check the filter Carry out a tightness test on the appliance, put the appliance in demand. If it loses pressure, that tells you it's opening. This is a two in one heat exchanger. So basically it's copper pipe, 22 mil for the heating, 15 mil for the hot water. Because it's two in one, it can be a combi, system, multi-point. Always make sure you fit a descaler because these are prone for blocking up. Silver soldered joints. There's no automatic care vent on this. It's actually a manual. If it does block up, you can use a power flusher with descaler in. Silicon aluminium coated heat exchanger. The burner is made out of Kevlar bulletproof vest material. There's a combustion seal. Clean the baffles. If need be, brush a bit of vinegar or water from the condensation trap first. Always wash the appliance down afterwards. Brush the insulation, get any loose bits off. Brush and clean down the, the insulation cover. The seal needs to be changed every three years, unless it's a 40 kilowatts every year. Check the burner, it's not gone baggy. Push the bristles down so it doesn't cause ignition failure, F4. Check the van, fan, check the earth, top right, behind the burner, check the earth spring is still there, she'll get an F5.
before you put the door back always put ceramic grease underneath the bolt or nut heads this allows the combustion door to move slightly this prevents creaking